there's that. That should be just fine. Now we wait for someone to show up. Are you alive? Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. up. Woohoo. Blasted apple. Yippee. Sorry it's been such a massive hiatus. We've been doing a lot of different things. So many things have been happening. I try to remember how to play this game properly. How to play game. Make pie. Uh, I don't remember how to do that. Oh no. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't remember what all the recipes are. <laughs> I know you need like butter and flour, but I don't remember if you need yeast or eggs or not. Soothing machine noises. Yeah.
I also have to remember what box I've put everything in. Whoopsie. That is an incredibly, uh, crunchy sneeze. <laughs> Only the sneeze. <laughs> Your voice was fine. And then the sneeze just sounded like it was coming from two rooms away. <laughs> Hello, Biddy! Biddy moment. We're back at all this again. So there's been a brand new update that includes uh, freighter fights, uh, new robots, and supposedly wizard staffs. I don't know how to access any of that. So I'm gonna go in my spaceship and take off and see if that does anything. Hee <laughs> hee. Gosh, I love my spaceship. She's so cool and awesome, and I still don't know how to upgrade her. I mean, I doubt a living spaceship has a gender. Gender, son. Her. She's so cool. I, again, still don't know how to upgrade her, but she's so cool. Assigned gender at ship. <laughs> something Butterbriar seeds. Powerful medicinal herbs. Plant can hold the key to developing the cure for the common cold. It should be deposited at a responsible cloning unit immediately. that. Teleporter, what else do I have in here?
stellar extractor core. Ooh. Oh boy, more store egg. Can I talk to you to send them back out again, yeah? No, the storage is still the same. Thankfully. I don't have enough fuel. Uh, how do I... Oh no. Oh, Chad is a good bit behind. Yeah, do be like that. I don't think there's anything else I can do if I don't have any fuel for this. I don't remember how to... Oh wait, I can teleport with this. Oh, it's just the stream, okay. I mean, it's still not great, but that is better than Kind of. Oh yeah, all the like preview pictures got really scuffed up. See if I can remember where all of this stuff goes. Uh, cadmium has an extra area here. Oh, it's activated cadmium. That's different, apparently. Uh, this is all stuff that's tradable or sellable. Crafting materials. I 
And there's activated copper as well, so that should go in here. No, wait, so do some of these go in here? What is this? Manufactured gas product. So that should probably be going in there with these. Good lord, Biddy, please, for love of everything, please eat something. Consuming ranch broccoli. Thank you. I may be morally against ranch, but at least you're eating something. Oh, do you have meds that have to be like eaten with food or something. Yeah, that'll do it. Mm. Low appetite yeah, meds? I, re I recently actually like reduced one of the dosage on one of my meds and it's been fucking up my appetite completely. Good lord, none of us are able to, like, maintain a healthy schedule, huh? It'd be like that. It do be like that. Biddy, are you fucking your schedule up more to watch this stream?
nerd club. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's not actually called that, but I'd be delighted to be proven wrong. All right, so I do recall there, so there were a bunch of different like main story quests. There was the Lost Beneath the Waves. Um, there's this, so I went to interact with my computer and normally it'll like recover data and give you like little snippets of lore of the last traveler who was here and um, give you some like little extra upgrades and things. But now when I go to interact with it, it says, it asks me to give it a code. And I don't know the code. Um, so apparently I have to find that somewhere. And I have no idea where to look, which is frustrating, but delightful. Because it means I have something to look for. Uh, not the official name, but lots of people call it that to the point where it's used in announcements and such. Hell yes. Smart computer, derogatory. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This is the stuff for the sentry. Um, this is just maintaining your settlement. This is the um, become an outlaw one. This is for the exocraft technician, which is a very interesting quest. Uh, finish up the agricultural stuff, finish up the weapons stuff, and then everything else is um, side quests. Oh, Lasted Apple, you are going to be so out of your depths. Uh, there's so much happening in this game, all the time, all the time. Uh, you think you've finished this game, and then it turns out you've finished one of many, uh, one of very few quests. <laughs> or, or not, one of, just one of many quests. Uh, I can do words. I am professional words, man. Um, anyways... There's also this one, this one, and this one. So these ones are like, I still don't know how the whole reset simulation thing works. Um, and I worry that if I do that, it's gonna like lock me out of other stuff. So what I'm working on right now is the Atlas Seeds one. Um, Oh yeah, in universe, like the the universe is the a simulation in the mind of a dying god. Teehee. Teehee. Uh, and the fact that the universe can interact, aka travelers can interact with each other, uh, is indications that like the barriers between the universes are falling apart. Um, and everything we know as history has occurred in, like, a very small amount of time for this dying god. And there are 16 seconds left, but there have always been 16 seconds left. That, that kind of vibe. Uh, anyways... Yeah, I remember that, and also how I swapped from new kit to new sun within minutes. But also, no, don't reset the universe. So sexy, haha. Huh? <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, I'm gonna follow... I'm gonna quick finish up the agricultural one, I think. I've got Mordite on me, so that should allow me to just finish this quest. Uh, 
You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of your own produce. But crane life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that their contract is at an end, and that they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is, under, it is unclear what they are looking at. Some, suddenly, Merchant Kish grabs me, telling me not to trust the Overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest their food was somehow drugged. But this can't be true. I've shared a mirror with the Overseer and I am fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The Overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me they were joking, and beg me not to speak of this matter again. I thank them. I thank them and I leave. They have been a loyal friend. Uh, if we did photo fraud for No Man's Sky, how many votes would it take for you to shoot a whispering egg? Uh, pay me money first, and I'll do it. I, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. Uh, I will stay. The farmer appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. I smile at them, and Merchant Kish smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. Definitely nothing, nothing wrong going on here. Definitely nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Uh, is this a horror game? In the same way Subnautica is. That's that's what I'll go with. It's a horror game in the same way that Subnautica is a horror game. It technically isn't, but by virtue of its setting and mechanics, it is. Depends on how much attention you pay to the lore and also what plans you go to. Oh yeah, if you don't, if you ignore the lore, you can ignore any and all horror shit, uh, unless you want to go explore derelict wrecks. In which case, that that is horror. Um, but for the most part, no. It's technically, it's not a horror game. Is it horrifying? Yeah, but it's not a horror game. The inherent existential horror of space. Exactly. And thinking about how the universe works for too long. Purge Atlas Sequence. What is that one? Right, yeah, yeah. There's also this one with the Atlas Seeds. Because I have this thing here. And I can use it to make the Photic Jade with 100 copper. Which I imagine I'm supposed to do. Well, I actually don't have any copper on me, so that might be why I haven't done it yet. Still do not have a job, and so I cannot bribe you into poking a wreck. Sag, management call me back challenge. So I think next I will do the ExoCraft one. Uh, anyone ups for some good old religious heresy? I will yeah, not be me. elaborating. We love our good friend religious heresy.
can check something a moment. How about that airline food? Okay, it looks like the the new update stuff can be accessed at some point after playing the main storyline, which I have, um, and you have to go into hyper jump at some point. Oh, gosh. Sir, I like your aesthetic. Demand a place on your throne world in Trelloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and a Viking mech priest to administer its mass. So right off the bat, like the glory of an exocraft and mech priest to administer its mass. Not and I don't think that's like masses and bulk, but mass is in, like, religious mass. Or possibly both. I honestly don't know, but it's very interesting. Uh, pray only that you have an exocraft's terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal, refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. Technician seeks work, claiming they will be able to build and upgrade the exocraft for my travels. I hire the technician. You are weak and unworthy of my skills, but I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world. I will... I will become an interloper. Uh-huh. So another note, um... The Viking worship entities known as Sentinels, which most people don't like, um... The Traveler is known to them as the Interloper, and is basically, like, kind of the Antichrist. Uh, they don't actively try to kill you or anything, because this universe seems to have a significant religious tolerance, because uh, it's either that or everyone tries to murder each other. And the Viking, their philosophy is basically, we will use violence to end all violence. The last gun ever shot will be at ourselves. Um, 
So that's neat. Hello there, sir. P Corporal Anink has calmed since I last saw them, though I still feel a sense of dread within their eyes, of the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. I greet them. Interloper, I will do as I promised. Build a geobay from the schematic, and my exocraft shall be yours, unworthy though you may be. Now excuse me. I must ensure this location is defensible, should my people try to find me. Technician asked me to construct a Romer Geobay, from which I will be able to access their exocraft. Grah, of course. His bargain greatly favors you, interloper. My exocraft has seen much glory. Metal plane and paraphneum, which I have in storage. we go. I got a roamer. Which I can now modify. Oh, Robot Stone is so interested in it. He is. Biddy says, staring at the sentinel, the stream is going to make me want to return to No Man's Sky again for the sheer power of I want to shoot the police. <laughs> Speaking Take of, that, baby. when I last went to my um, little village, my, my settlement, and was attacked by sentinels, they dropped this. Um, Atlantideum. This ethereal... Disharmonic metal. This ethereal substance spills from the bodies of corrupted sentinels as they fall. A shower of prismatic grain seeking out their next host. It evades all attempts to contain it as if it had a will of its own. A strong desire for its own freedom. It possesses a crystalline beauty that cannot be reconciled with the corruption from whence it flows. Yeah, I have no idea what this is, or what it's for, uh, and I can't wait to find out. Perhaps it can be used in a wizard staff. 
I sure hope so. Just do a little bit of pruning. But yeah, apparently uh, you can replace your multi-tool with a wizard staff. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to find out. Hello again, Anik. Interloper, have you constructed the Rome or Geobay? Ugh. Tell me once you have. We must scan this world. We must find signals its secrets. Good. Here is a blueprint for an Exocraft radar. Its augmentation will allow you to discover buildings and signals from afar. But, interloper, know that it disgusts me that you lack so much knowledge. I already have an Exocraft... Okay. Do not delay, interloper. You have the means. Now set about the construction of the signal booster. I do not know how I feel about this warrior. I do not know whether I have made a mistake. But there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honored their word. I will honor mine. The Viking asked me to install the signal booster in my new exocraft. Long, complex field-based subspace radar. Due to their large power consumption and inherent subatomic instability, they are only found installed on exocraft. First, I need chromatic metal. Uh, no, it's out of range. I'm not good with vehicles in this game. Chromatic metal and a microprocessor. Once we have the Exocraft radar, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? Corporal Anink wakes. Corporal Anink waits, expecting me to announce my success in the construction of the Exocraft radar. Your timing is fortuitous, Traveler. Take these blueprints. Mounted cannon. Oh, I still don't have any copper. In your absence, I have made a grave discovery. There are sentinel depots on this world. Ugh. They are everywhere, even in this last refuge. Track one down, traveler. Destroy the depot and bring me its precious contents for use in my work. Corporal Anink requires me to use my exocraft radar to locate a depot and steal the material from within. They will use the substance to create an exocraft booster. Hurry, interloper. Do not permit the Sentinels to pollute your world. Name and Copper. I think I have or had a copper mine somewhere here on this in this area. It has made a great discovery, he says, staring at the five Sentinels located directly outside the windows. Well, he didn't say when or how he made this discovery. <laughs> we 
Who knows? Maybe he sat down when. Oh god, oh holy shit, there's sentinels here. Oh fuck. Staring directly at the pet sentinel we have. I have discovered sentinels on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> Heck. Whoopsie. Well, thankfully I can just resummon it to its, uh... platform. Man, that's... I forgot that was there. Alright, that's someone's room. I forgot about that. I, uh... Set up a little personalized, uh... Or I'm working on setting up little personalized bedrooms for... All my, uh, employees. Because, like, if they're gonna live here, they might as well have something nice, you know? Yeah, proper union benefits. Yeah. I believe I can also process chromatic metal back into copper. No, nope, it's... Where did I put it? Oh, it's like uh, if I have cop some copper and then some chromatic metal, that'll make more copper. Okay. Maybe if you could make a profit doing this. It's a very boring way to make a profit. Pie stonks are much more uh pizzazzy. Correct.
your milk stonks arc. <laughs> I wasn't aware that that was a thing that had occurred. Spent like three hours gathering milk for pies in this game, and that was one session of gathering. Good lord. Yeah, this game will do that to you. Lost in the sauce. Wait, hold on. A, uh, ordained minister. No, I, I get the why. I, I'm still just lost on the how. Anyways. Corporal Anink possesses possesses an obsession with those I have come to know as sentinels. I have seen them looking over ancient scripts in the Viking language, muttering various names. Obinquil, Aaron, Atlas. Is this why their people pursue them? What secret have they discovered? What heresy have they committed? I ask them about the Atlas. Corporal Anik stares at me, a strange light behind their eyes. They declined to answer. <laughs> All right. How do I How do I use this? Press X. Oh, this thing turns on a dime, goodness.
Watching the Exocraft just run over things. <laughs> yeah, it sure is something. Forbidden lollipops. They look more like cake pops. Forbidden cake pops. I mean, there's there's no laws against picking the flowers. You just can't destroy them with your gun. If you do it with your truck, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, hello. Have I been here before? The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Eheu. Corvax Prime is watched keenly and closely by an unknown race. It lurked in the depths of the darkness. Vigilant and patient, it awaited its time. The great disconnection was at hand. My knowledge of the Corvax convergence increases. Oh shit. Animal. Animal. A double. Indeed. Oh. Yet another thing, or place, and thing. Ah, yes, the liver stonks. We love our good friend liver stonks. Hello, sir. Oh. 
the electron of life form is trapped in some kind of temporal loop. They go through the same motions again and again. They shudder, look at me, and abruptly scream as half sentence in panic. And the process begins again. They are somehow unstuck in time. Aye! Synthetic experiment disaster. Aye! Synthetic white hole experiment disaster. Electron. Aye! Synthetic whole experiment disaster. Remove electron. Synthetic white hole experiment disaster. Remove electron. I tap an entry on their control pad. I feel a, char a, I feel a charge surge through the air between us, the whiff of ozone unmistakable. They jolt dramatically, then appear to calm. I do not know the precise nature of their experiment, but the Corvax seems relieved to be free from it. They thank me profusely, and offer a gift. Neat. The observatory appears to have functioned as a battle station for the Corvax, coordinating defensive craft across a dozen systems. The sensors mark the arrival of Gek fighter ships in the atmosphere many years ago. The station has been unmanned since that day. Nothing remains but a beacon blinking upon the screen, a code needed to decipher its point of origin. 2230 0223-3022 So we need a zero in the third spot. This one. Success. Punch in the numbers and the beacon reveals the location of a new location. Reveals the location of a new location within the cosmos. Neat. Man, it has only been an hour and my voice is already starting to hurt a bit. I think it might take a bit for me to regain my uh, stamina for these things. As one does. Yeah, stretch break would be good, actually. I will, uh, turn shortly. Let me mute myself.
I return. Oh boy, a bunch of orbs in a circle. Yes. Time to shoot those orbs. My God, <laughs> what? I, I got exploded. Damn, okay. It's broken. Well, I'm not doing that in the uh, Exocraft anymore, apparently. What in the hap just fucking? Like, good lord. So let's try this again. Looked at the clip, I didn't even see you get shot, I think. Did I just explode? I, I just exploded out of nowhere. Th that That's new. even explode on screen, it just went black with the quote, and then afterwards the ex exocraft shows explosion damage. Huh. I uh, reiterate, what the hap just fucking? Oops. 
Did I not get... Because I didn't get any gold from that, and it doesn't want to count if I don't get any gold. Well, do I have to find another one, then? Eight minutes away? I'm not going to drive to that. I'm just going to go back to base and just grab... Ah! Grab some gold from storage. If the police really have a memory of 30 seconds afterwards, like, eh, hey, this person's dang car away from a looted depot. Eh, hey, nothing to see here. They're just as intelligent as the real police. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind. sodium field.
I probably could have just gone into my box and grabbed some gold and that would have done it for me. Eh, oh well. Hello again, sir. Have you obtained the materials I seek, interloper? Divine elements, forged from the sentinels themselves. They will shield us from their sight. Good. I shall use it to forge ex Exocraft boosters for future expeditions. Neat. None of us lives life alone, traveler. All of us must form attachments, and I must shed the last vestiges of mine. I left my consort and spawn behind on my homeworld. My crimes were my own, but they... I must know what has happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the Epsocraft boosters to reach it before my brethren inevitably delete it. In the process, we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Grah. We will kill two Gek with one blast. Corporal Anik requires me to use my Exocraft boosters to reach a terminal quickly enough to receive an encrypted transmission. They believe we may also acquire an Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the Viking network. Be vigilant. Be quick. I require this message. I must know what happened to those I left behind. Ferrite, mac metal, and nanotubes. I have any carbon nanotubes on me. Shame. Timer's already going down. Whoopsies. I can barely see anything. Loading transmission. Decrypting subspace frequency. Error. Interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you. No system to which you might flee unscathed. Hide, then, in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like a mewling geck as we cut them down. That we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Where shall you ever find peace, knowing these things? The message is not what I expected. A technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this... I must return and decide what to do. 
Before the transmission closes, I pull an Exocraft Mayan laser blueprint from the network. Shit, man. Same here. I remember I remember it just being like, oh, ow, oof. And once again, it was another instance of, oh, ow, oof. indestructible lamp. There, sir. My preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of my old life, my old attachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, traveler. Have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. Yes, I have received the message. The technician tells me they are going to clean their mind, to prepare for their holy task. Before they remove all of their thoughts, they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn. Please. I have waited so long. The technician was ex expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, but instead... Instead, I discovered that their family had been killed. Murdered by other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expectant, nervous, I do not know whether they tell the truth. And so, I don't. I lie. Ugh. Your pathetic interpretation. Your Viking are never happy. We are proud of our strife. But, I am satisfied to hear of this. I think, I think I can do what I must do now. Thank you, friend for giving me this hope as I fade. When we next speak, I will be reborn.
If a dying man were to ask you whether or not his family loved him, and you knew that they didn't, would you tell him the truth? Oof. Or would you let him die happy? Biddy! <laughs> Horrific. Give me just a second.
I return now with bagel. Did you die? Uh, no, just unexpected audio. Mm -hmm. Unexpected audio in the bagging area. Uh, what breed of bagel? Plain bagel with cream cheese and steak seasoning. Don't worry about the steak seasoning. I put on everything. You may also hear the anor in the background due to them also making bagel. That's me. Real anor. Make real bagel. Well, I should hope you're not making a fake bagel. Uh, it is not. It is, um, can you hand me the steak seasoning a second? Uh, yeah. I need to stare at it for reasons. It is Meyer Brand Griller's Steak Seasoning. It's the same as like the Montreal steak season I usually get. It's just the generic brand version. Where do I put these Gek relics? There we go. Let's do. I'll go back and talk to this guy. I am I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now. Focus on what I must do. Ah, you'll require a mining beam in the days to come. Construct one, and I will craft you a nomad exocraft befitting an acolyte of Nal. Their face is different, beneath the eyes, beneath the soul. They have changed irrecoverably, no irrevocably. Where they would once insult me with a meaningless threats, they speak now only of a singular purpose. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they only care about their cult, their supposed purpose. The technician asked me to build an exocraft mining laser, promising to craft me the blueprint for a new exocraft, the Nomad. The world will change. It must. It has to, traveler or else all of this, everything we have done, it will have been for nothing at all. Ominous. Uh, they got the mining laser. Return to technician, okay. Have you built the mining laser? I hope you enjoy working with Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat, even if that combat is against the earth. More paraphernalia and more metal plating. Excellent work. Your exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest that I can create such marvels. Ah. This universe is a mystery, Traveler. 
lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. Technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense mineral that must be refined. My life will be made easier with, Exocraft, with the Exocraft mining laser, able to harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. The technician will use this to craft an upgrade from Exocraft radar. They say the Viking first rose to the stars and ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what we may accomplish? Combating the Exocraft against the cats at high speeds. That's running. Might as well process a bit of this. Oh, that's already done. Whoops. My good friend, Viscous Fluids. <laughs> Have you brought the magnetized ferrite, Traveler? The signals are out there. I know they are. All you need is a signal booster capable of detecting them. I give the technician the ferrite they requested. As they work with it, I examine their station. It is barren now lacking the flaws, the personality of their previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before, for all this newfound efficiency and focus. The flaw of their individuality, forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. Microprocessor and chromatic metal. Take this signal booster. Upgrade it. When it is constructed, I have something else for you compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your exocraft telemetry, you see. It seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic in exocraft weapon upgrades. Ugh. Forgive the Viking that I was, Acolyte. It is not polite to withhold firepower. The technician requires me to craft an upgrade to my signal booster, promising me upgrades to my weapon systems. Your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go, traveler. Build your upgrades. I will continue my great work. This guy and his ongoing quest to build the Jesus car. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess? Talked about him essentially dying. Who knows what he did to this, be this way? Very well, it could have been death and truth. Yeah, pretty much. That, that, that was what I meant about, like, you know, would you... Would you lie to a dying man in order to allow him to die in peace? See, chromatic metal, and then. Oh, of course, I'm too far away from it. Gonna see if I can drive it onto the roof. Nope.
Can I make more of these? Let me... Eh, oh well. I know, I think that's something you have to buy, isn't it? What? Uh, the microprocessors. Blueprints for your weapon upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you improved your scanning equipment yet? The technician gives me blueprints for weapon upgrades, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound on their terminal. Our search is almost complete. A scan has found something. That you chose this world of all worlds to make your home out of infinite possibilities. I did not think it possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Nal himself visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. Use your upgraded exocraft radar to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within, and I will use them to forge a new acceleration model for the tr module for the trials ahead. The Viking claims that this Nal, the namesake of their cult, once visited my planet. I cannot know if this is true. I walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these peoples, at their obsession with their past, at the hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the hub of creation. The technician requires nanite clusters to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft booster waiting for my return. Tread carefully, traveler. In all abandoning things, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave, for something notices your theft. And this is the part where, if you want to, you can pay me money to shoot eggs. Oh dear. <laughs> huh? Uh, I guess not? What are these doing? Oof. Have you obtained the nanite clusters? The hours draw the hour draws late. Your exocraft boosters up booster upgrades awaits. Actually, Biddy, I'm gonna hold on a second until your ad is done so we can continue this and you can actually see what the heck is going on. Also give me gives me a chance to eat more bagel.
The technician... Wait. Huh? <laughs> I think this might be an error. Clearly this is meant to be a description, but they accidentally made it as his tech, uh, like as their dialogue. She takes the Danite clusters. As they hold them, they appear to enter some strange trance. After a moment is done. There's a strange look behind their eyes. Corporal Enik informs me that they have taken communion with their ancestors. They know what they need to do. Weird. Traveler, my work is complete. I have overridden the ley lines, charged their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species. The mystery for which Nell died. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Technicians serve their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh my god. I I there was a t 30 second timer. Oh my god. Let's try that again. Oh my god. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues, in the ephemera of countless stars. I witness. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas, where Herc had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I, too, I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. I witness. In their rage, in their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain, and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said that my end would be an awakening, that in this dream nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends I see a vision of something I have not seen before, 
of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come, I witness. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler, so it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Nal. I see the end of time, the end of all things. And in that crimson light there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all this and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. I leave shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. Biddy, you cannot keep adopting every single entity we experience. They're dead. They're dead. They're fucking dead, Biddy. So basically, the whole Viking like culture and religion is based around this guy they refer to as Herc, who apparently, according to this, lied about having interacted with the Atlas and killed the person who did interact with them, Nal. And now the people who follow and worship Nal are ousted as cultists and heretics. Fun! I envy you, Traveler, to see the words of Nal himself. Ah. With this discovery, you have vindicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, Traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it, and strike terror upon our enemies. The Viking believed their ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith. Initiating a war against the Sentinels, and slaying Nal the Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Hursk had been met only with silence, and in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the, of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobase schematic. They pass me the schematic, and as they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. I have transmitted Null's testament to my brethren, Traveler. What you have learned this day will sp spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Brah. And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us, now until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The technician wakes anxiously to see my Colossus exocraft in its full glory. I watch as they begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft line laser, surrounded by schematics and charts. The Colossus is a fine craft. They say Herc and Nal rode one together before their end. Finally, the blueprints for the Jesus car. I hate that you were right about that. 
was I needed paraffinium and more metal plating again. He says, I don't have a new saw, or I may not have a new saw, but I do have garlic bread, and I will admit I'm jealous of that, Biddy. I do like garlic bread. Oh. Oh dear. No! Biddy, I'm so sorry. Good lord. It's very chonky. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do the eggs. Have you constructed the Colossus Geobay? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all those who oppose you? Ah, a careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, traveler. You will subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft Vehicle Laser Upgrade to assist with the task. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon, soon you shall have mastery of this plant's signals and the speed with which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the frontal blueprints. Ah, this employment has been one of glory. Technician requires more nanite clusters to create an upgrade for my exocraft radar. Something, something is wrong. 
Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family, before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. They do not wish to awaken their pain. They are a desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. So I now have every Exocraft except for the Nautilus. The Nautilus is going to be interesting because I don't know if I have any bases that are near water. I think my farm might be, but I can't recall for certain. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. The technician's hands shake. It is then I know the blueprint is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. The Viking takes them greedily, turning to imbibe them. Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien, it seems to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. The Nanite Clusters. Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module for my nomad exocraft once I have constructed its geobay. Good. Let me know when the nomad geobay is built. Gah, cannot wait to witness its glory. Update. He's had the game for three days and he's played nine hours of it so far. Only nine hours? Hmm. Our work is almost concluded, but every end is a beginning. I'm too weak to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your side against your enemies. Ugh. Woe betide those who would transgress against us. Technician offers me the final acceleration module upgrade. It has been a pleasure working with you, traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you. A lucrative and repeatable venture. 
Traveler, I have detected a location of monetary interest. Go, that you may hone your control of, of the exocraft. Track the signal down before it disappears, so that we may siphon its units. Technician has hacked the terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I will be able, able to transfer the units to my account. They spend their days doing this now, tending to the exocraft and drawing data from interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out to the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with this retirement, engaging in fugitive activity for the pleasure of the chase, no longer for the necessary of survival. It is a game we can repeat. One last heist after one last heist. All right, bro. What, what am I scanning for? Oops. Oh, there's something. Eh. Yeah, I suppose three hours is, or nine hours is reasonable when you, like, actually have things that you need to do and be responsible for. Though with that in mind, that this this might not be the best game for him, because it, it sucks you in, man. Well, I mean, the settlement kind of comes with that debt. It do be like that. It do be like that. It's quite worth it once you get that debt paid off, though. Just because the amount of stuff you can get on a daily basis. Oh. Oh, eggs. I uh, said, better be worth it, man. The terminal will, the terminal whirs into action, spitting out errata in its confusion. Siphoning funds from an intergalactic transaction directly into my account. As I go, I think to myself how glad I am that my technician can hack these networks. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. I hope my fugitive friend is right. Neat. And now I get the fuck out of here. Cause eggs. Four K is a decent amount. And like the eggs are only dangerous if you interact with them.
Yeah, that too. And all, I, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. We uh, finished all the technician quest stuff and uh, finished the last of the farmer quest, or agriculturist, or whatever. And, uh, next time we can look into how to activate the uh, echoes stuff. <laughs> See you guys next time.